Today we celebrate the feast of St. Conrad of Parzim. St. Conrad was born in Bavaria in 1818. And during his youth, he was very devoted to Our Lady, prayed the rosary every day, and loved prayer and solitude, visited churches on particular feast days, and would spend the entire day there in prayer, returning late in the evening back to his home. And so he grew up living a holy and simple life on his family's farm, until finally at the age of 31, he entered the Capuchin Friars as a lay brother. After his profession, he was assigned to the Friary of St. Anne in Altoding, and he was given the task of porter. And this wasn't an easy task for St. Conrad. As I said, he loved prayer and solitude, and the Friary there of St. Anne was frequently visited by hundreds and even thousands of pilgrims on a daily basis coming to see the shrine of Our Lady of Mercy. And so he continually had to greet the pilgrims who were arriving. Being porter, it was a big job to greet all these pilgrims. And of course, you can understand this disturbed or could have disturbed his spirit of recollection and his spirit of prayer and been a great mortification for him, desiring so much solitude and, and silence and just being with his God. But we see how God's designs aren't necessarily our designs, and God's plan for our sanctification isn't necessarily our plan. And so St. Conrad resigned himself to the will of God and fulfilled this duty as porter until the day of his death in 1894. But throughout his life, notwithstanding the busyness of his duties and constantly having to converse and deal with the pilgrims, he was able to keep a spirit of recollection, a spirit of prayer, and union with God, because he continually had recourse to those simple aspirations, raising his mind and heart to God throughout the day and seeing in every little thing the will of God. As St. Maximilian says, everything that happens to us that doesn't depend on our will is 100% the will of God for us. And this coming from the best of all fathers, our Heavenly Father. And so seeing in that everything the will of God, he was able to practice the Christian virtues and be patient and kind with all of the pilgrims that he met and thus become Saint Conrad, earning the honor of the altars. And so Saint Conrad's life is a reminder for each and every one of us how to maintain union with God throughout the day, notwithstanding the duties that we have to carry out, the business and dealings with others that we have to do, that throughout the day we too can and should raise our mind and hearts to God by making those simple aspirations, offering our work to God, asking for his help in times of need and temptation, and also by seeing the will of God in all of these things as well, in all of the difficulties in life and the duties we have to carry out, and offering that up to our Lord as a prayer. St. Conrad of Parzim, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.